Hi guys, here's your first example of long division. Uh, for this example, we're going to use the multiplication method, which I think is the best way to try and understand what long division is all about. So the first step we're going to do here is that we're going to make a line. Okay. So we're going to see what we're dividing here. We're doing 6,876 divided by 9. Be careful not to read it the other way around. It's this number that we're working with first. Okay, So we put a line here because we know that in this area is where we're going to use do our all our multiplication. Okay, So here's our multiplication. Okay, so now the point of this multiplication section is to be able to figure out what number times 9 is going to give me a number that's as close to this one as possible without going over. Okay, so first of all, we want to pick numbers that are easy to work with. We don't want to do more math for nothing. Okay, so we don't want to pick numbers like 9 times 63 or uh, 9 times 72. We want to pick numbers that we can easily work with in our head. So that's why we've been practicing the adding zero trick and all that. So let's try something like, for example, 9 times 7. Now I know that 9 times 7 is 63, but I need to make that number way bigger than that if I want to get to 6,800. So now I think about the trick about adding the zeros. Well, I know if I know that 9 times 7 is 63, I add a zero to it, it is 630. Hmm, but that's not quite enough. I'm going to need to add another zero to that. So now I know that 9 times 7 is 63. I add two zeros at the end, one zero, two zeros. And I get a number that's very close to this, 6,300. Now I don't want to do 9 times 800 because that's going to bring me up to 7,200 and that's going over this number. So I don't want to go over. I want to stay as close as possible without going over. So our next step is that we're going to subtract. This is where the subtraction happens, and again, this is where the multiplication happens. Okay, so we're going to do 6, put a line here first. 6 minus 0 is 6, 7 minus 0 is 7, <clears throat> 8 minus 3 is 5, and of course 6 minus 6 is 0, but I won't put the 0 there because I know that it's 0, and I want to work with this number that's left. Okay, now... We have 576 we're going to work with. So I want to figure out 9 times something is going to give me a number that's close to 576. Okay, let's see. Well, I know that 9 times 5 is 45. And I know that 9 times 6 is 54. Oh, okay, well, that's even closer than 45. I have 57 over here. Okay, so here I go. I'm going to do 9 times 6, 54. Oh, I need another place value there. My 1's are missing, so 6 isn't enough. I need to put 60. 9 times 6 is 54, plus the 0 at the end. There we go. So now I'm ready for my subtraction. I'm going to do my subtraction again. 6 minus 0 is 6. 7 minus 4 is 3. And 5 minus 5 is 0. Again, I won't put anything there. So I'm left to work with 36. Okay, well, I just have to go over here now because of my awesome uh, effort with Mad Minute and Reflex. I'll know right away that 9 times 4 is 36. So 9 times 4, 36 do my subtraction, and this particular problem doesn't actually have a remainder or anything, so i am finished my dividing part. So now it's left with the numbers I have over here. In this case now, this uh, column is no longer the multiplication column. We're going to add all these numbers together. So what I'm going to recommend before you do it is just check to make sure that your numbers are lined up properly. If I look, oh, see, my numbers are not lined up at all. I'm going to fix that and make sure that I have my numbers lined up, the ones. Oh, I need to move that four, too. So there we go. Now my ones are lined up, my tens are lined up, 
and my hundredths are lined up. And that's why I can make sure I don't make any mistakes. So 0 plus 0 plus 4 is 4. 0 plus 6 is 6. And then 7, bring it down, 764. So my answer, 6,876 divided by 9 equals 764. And that's how you do long division using the multiplication method.